Look, I'm not going to lie. I don't know all the details of the intricate field hockey rules. <laughs> but here's what I do know. On Sunday night, when I was watching the national championship game with my family, I right. look like a genius yep. because <laughs> the game's in overtime, next goal wins. Sitting on the couch. Yep. Get the ball to Aaron. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Get the ball to Aaron. Boom. Boom. A couple seconds well, later, national title. <laughs> I look like I know what I'm doing. Was Aaron fortunate that I wasn't in goal for Michigan? <laughs> yeah, that right. Moment? There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, and I actually said after I think Aaron's second goal, I said, ooh, I'm glad Jones wasn't in there for that yeah. one because he would have gotten hurt. That was a rocket. The last one had some heat, too. So, obviously, Aaron Matson is joining us just uh, hours after winning a third consecutive national championship with the Tar Heels. Aaron, take us through just what's been going on. I have to imagine this last, like, 24 hours or so have been crazy. Yeah, I mean, lots of celebration. You guys know how it goes. Um, the team deserves it. We deserve it. We worked really hard. Been through a lot. Every team has, and we came out on top. Luckily, and we worked together, and it was just a hard-fought battle the whole way, not only just the game, since the fall. Yeah. And, um, you know, we were just able to stick together, have each other's backs, and it was fun. So it, if someone has not been following the whole season, mm -hmm. take us through how it worked this year and what the challenges were with the weird schedule that you guys had. Yeah, definitely. So the ACC was lucky enough to play in the fall. We had, I guess – after everything got situated, you know, everyone figured everything out. There were 20 games you could play regular season. And the ACC, since we played in the fall, we played 10 in the fall. And then we had 10 left over in the spring. So Big Ten, every other conference, they had 20 games to play in the spring, which is really interesting just because of the whole schedule situation sure. and everything. Um, but so, yeah, we played all fall. It was a normal fall, everything. ACC championship at the end of the fall. Lucky enough to win that, come away with that trophy. And then there was season number two in the spring, which is – Fun and interesting and a lot different than everything we've been used to. But um, we had 10 more games to prove that we were number one, and we were able to do that and come out with another trophy. I really appreciate you saying, oh, you guys know how that goes. <laughs> in reality, no, we do not know what it is like to be one of the very best in the world at what we do. But that is a very nice thought. Um, okay, so the last play, Sunday night, mm -hmm. you had – Kind of two consecutive penalty corners, one that did not go in, and then the next one. What did you learn from the first one that helped you on the second one? Yeah, so uh, we call one of the corners salsa when I just kind of, nice. you know, go. And Rob coined that term. He's like, just go, ole, hey, right? <laughs> uh, so I was like, you know what? Let's just do this. They're going to come out strong. And the fly actually broke down her steps. She did a great job. Broke down her steps right before me. Kind of caught me off guard the first time, so I pulled right. And uh, she fouled and everything, and that's that's fine. But we got awarded another quarter. And I say, you know what, let's go left this time. And Rob and I actually joked after the game. He was like, yo, we never practiced reverse hits on corners and seven up. And I was like, yeah, but you know what, why not? Let's let's throw some yeah. little spice in there, yeah. right? A little spicy salsa. <laughs> exactly, well, exactly, exactly. Um, and, and, yeah, I mean, the goalie played a great game, but we were just lucky enough to find the backboard and then celebrate afterwards. So, okay. Looked like you had some words from <laughs> uh, for one of the girls from Michigan right before this entire sequence. What got you fired up? Um, yeah, I mean, you're not the first person to ask me what I said, and I don't know if I can repeat what I said on this. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it was an emotional game. Both teams played a hard-fought game. Um, we knew they were going to be physical. We That's knew pretty much what be... you said, right? Yeah, you're yeah, like, exactly. you know what, you know what, ma'am? This <laughs> has been a hard-fought game. I appreciate Please your effort. Please let me take this corner. Thank you. No, no, no. No, but, yeah, it was it was good. I mean, she defended well the whole game. And, uh, yeah, there might have been a hard foul for the corner, but um, we just knew we had to capitalize on it. But, yeah, words were shared. Can't repeat it. Goal is scored. Rest of history. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, we're moving forward. <laughs> What I just heard Aaron say was, I can't wait to tell you when we turn the mics <laughs> off. That'll be on the outtakes on the last show ever. Um, so there's been some chatter since Sunday night. People starting to throw your name around in some big time Tar Heel categories, such as Mia Hamm, Michael Jordan, Lawrence Taylor, mm -hmm. on sort of that Mount Rushmore of Carolina athletics. What, what does that feel like? Uh, you know, it's an honor. I mean, it's an honor every day to walk out on that field with a penny, jersey, whatever it is, wearing Carolina. Uh, we represent the university, we represent the program, coach, everything. Um, I'm just lucky to be able to be compared to those people. I mean, they're legends. They're amazing. They've, they've, they're the best at what they do. And, you know, if we keep working together, we'll be up there too. I mean, we've done it three times. We're looking to go more. So 
it'll be fun the next couple of years. But uh, for me, it's just it's motivation to keep working, keep working hard, put the time in. It obviously all pays off, so it's all worth it. Do you even allow yourself to hear that kind of stuff or think about that kind of <laughs> stuff? It's like, wow, you know what? I might be the best that's ever done this, at least to this point. Have you? Do you even let yourself think that way? Um, You know, I think it's all about the balance, being confident, not cocky, not complacent. It's all about being right in the middle. Um, it's it's definitely rewarding to hear it, and I think, you know, it's it's been earned by all of us. We work hard every single day, and we come out there, and we make each other better. Um, I couldn't have done it without the teammates, coaches, my parents, everybody, um, teammates throughout the years. Um, but you know, it's, it's nice to hear it, but it's also not good to dwell on it because sure. it's all about what's next. So I'm excited. We talked about this some when you were in here after the last championship, yeah. you know, how it goes. love that. Um, love it. <laughs> but, but it's even more true right now. There's so many good teams and student athletes on campus and especially right now what does that matter at all like when when you're chasing your own championship do you think about like well I would like to I want to make sure I get mine because I know somebody's getting one. Oh, 100 percent it was the <laughs> best we had I think well this past season we had like four people on our pass list and this weekend we got up to six so woo. but uh, <laughs> but it was amazing every team came out to support I was just joking about it with uh, some of the guys we had, you know, the track and field team on this side. We had the wrestlers. We had the lacrosse guys. We had everybody there, the women's lacrosse people. Um, it was amazing. And, you know, we were able to do it first this year. And I, I've said it to so many people already. You guys are next. Like, we're all on top this year. We all just got to finish work together. And everybody here knows the entire university is backing them, which is so supportive, so amazing to think of. But, yeah, I mean – there's a lot of people ranked at number one or in the top five right now, and it'll be really exciting at the end of the year to see what happens. All right, I told you this before the interview started, because your mom and dad are here. They're in Pod World headquarters <laughs> listening to the interview in another room. So there was that moment right after the match. You guys celebrate, and then you go find your dad, and you have this big embrace. This is legitimate. We watched that in my house like seven to eight times. <laughs> my wife is like bawling over there. Oh. What? What was that moment like for you to be able to go find your dad and, and share that moment? It's amazing. Every single time we win, I look for my parents. I love them. Uh, I mean, with COVID and everything, it's been weird this seasons, I guess, two of them, for them to come down and balance everything. My brother's playing high school baseball. It's a senior year, so it's two big years on both ends. But, um, yeah, I mean, everyone was like, no, you can't go in the stands. You can't see my parents. <laughs> No, we're not in a bubble anymore. No, no, no. We just want to championship. You see what just happened on the field? I'm going to go see my parents. I know. Yes. They're like, put your mask on. I was like, Aaron, like, come on. No, no, no. I'm going to hug my dad. So, yeah, I found him. I was lucky um, to get a big embrace by him. I found my mom. Mother's Day. What more can you expect from that? Um, it was a great gift to her. I got her gifts to her before earlier in the day, but that was the, that was the big one we were holding on to. Um, but, yeah, it was fun. And this is important to understand. Aaron's mom was there, of course, but they, Aaron's parents <laughs> are very good fans. They found the spot to sit. Right. It just happens to be in separate portions. Oh, yeah. But, look, it works. Like, there's yep. no, we're not stopping that now. No. They, they have to stay there. No, it's not stopping either. Yeah. I have actually, um, I think it's, a, it's the newspaper, the Daily Tar Heel. I think it's from last year's. Or, no, it might have been. Uh, one of those 20. national oh, championships are run together. <laughs> I can't keep them all straight, guys. I'm sorry. I've got all these rings. What are these all for? That is not what I meant. But I do. I have the newspaper on my dashboard, and my dad jokes. He's like, that's got to stay there until you guys can't win it anymore. Absolutely. And I'm like, I know. It's like yellowed brown. Yeah. No, it's staying there. It is so, staying there. Did you guys almost fall down after you hugged? Oh, yeah. That would have been bad, Aaron. I know. It I mean, <laughs> that, it would have been comical, but bad. Bad. <laughs> I was like, when I was like, don't hurt Aaron. That's what I said out loud in my den last night when you guys almost fell down. It's like, don't hurt her. The feet went through the chairs, through the chairs. Put her in bubble wrap. Don't hurt her. Well, I was very, I was yelling at the TV because I thought they were going to take the team picture while you were still in the stands. No. Oh my I was like, wait a minute, Aaron's not out there. Don't oh, you take that ready. picture? I know. I get that from my dad. I think he's always the last one to, you know, say goodbye to parties. Always waiting, talking to people. I'm like saying hello to everybody. Everyone's singing without me. I'm like, wait. So. You mentioned now looking forward. So, I mean, I assume this is, I mean, this is obviously awesome, and this is what a great moment, but you don't feel like you're done yet. Is that a fair oh, statement? Oh, no, no way. Yeah, yeah. We're going to take these next couple of days, um, celebrate, obviously. We put in a lot of work. We'll have a team meeting at the end, 
give all of our uniforms back because you know we took those home uh <laughs> but but yeah we'll have some fun together and and watch film and debrief obviously because you can win from losses but you can learn a lot or you can learn from losses but you can learn a lot from wins and um and then in the fall yeah we'll turn it right back around and and come out strong and everything and i think coach is really exciting everyone excited everyone's really excited and we're just gonna put a lot of work in again so you guys actually lost a game this year that's no. a, like what like what was that like? Stop that. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Track that statement. <laughs> what, what was that like? <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I hate losing. You guys know that. That doesn't happen. No, but uh we learned a lot from it. We watched a lot of film, we debriefed. Honestly, in the end, it's for the better. You you it's we're not gonna keep a sixty four win streak, you know what right. I mean? Um, but uh it was good. Everybody had a good attitude afterwards. Obviously, people handle it differently. I get pissed off, you know. Yeah. People forget about it and everybody hands with it handles it their own way but um afterwards everyone was still together and we worked hard and and watched film we learned and we just came out and said you know we're gonna play Carolina hockey that's how we win that's what we do okay so this may have happened before this time period but it is when I became aware of it so that's really when it started <laughs> right. as far as I'm that's when time began yeah <laughs> so you did all the instructional videos kind of on social media and mm-hmm. I think this happened really started during COVID is that yes. correct mm-hmm. okay what gave you that idea? And it seemed like it got a whole lot of traction and a whole lot of responses. Was that fun? Yeah, no, it was amazing. We got so much positive reinforcement from that. It was awesome. So many people reached out being like, this is awesome. You're helping so many girls. And I just love seeing some field hockey because no one was playing at that time. You know, everybody wants sports. Um, but we were sitting around the living room one day and my parents and I and my brother were talking like, what can we do? Because everyone... You know, it was that miserable point in time where everyone's just sitting at home, yeah. not doing anything, looking for stuff to do. Um, and I'm lucky enough to have that platform where I can reach out and, you know, help some people. And obviously it's stuff that I do every day. You see me before games, I still do my polls and people make fun of me for it, but it works. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, it was great. And I think a lot of people appreciated it. And we're just looking to grow the game, you know, field hockey um, with everything that's happening right now. Everybody just needs some positivity and and support and everything so sure. um yeah it was fun and hopefully in the future i'll have another chance to do it and and we'll just keep on growing the game i don't have the confidence to make fun of aaron for her pregame routine <laughs> no, like yeah. if i whatever she did yeah that's what i'd be doing i'd be right behind her like aaron what are we gonna do now <laughs> we gonna do some polls let's do it i'm in <laughs> so you're kind of our local national championship correspondent oh. so you've now won a national championship in a normal year school everything's mm-hmm. normal and now you've won one in a very weird year that hopefully we never do again. Right. Yes. Thank you. What What was different about this year academically and athletically that either made it easier or tougher to, to focus on field hockey? Yeah. Well, I guess bringing it way back to the start of quarantine and when everything was going down, we were all apart, which was really interesting because it was this huge time where everyone needs each other and needs to bond and, and have each other's backs. And we were all in Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Holland, England, you know what I mean? So crazy. But um, we got together. Coaches got us together over Zoom. We we bonded. We did team activities. We talked about what this upcoming season is going to look like. Um, and then coming into season, obviously, academics are online. Everybody hates that, just so you know. I don't know if you've heard that already. <laughs> Everybody is really excited to get rid of Zoom. Um, but in the fall, it'll be a lot better, and it'll be a breath of fresh air and everything. Um, but I just I can't stress enough how much – the team grew and had each other back, had each other's backs. And I think we came a long way this season and that's what makes it even more special just because it was such an interesting year where things weren't normal for anyone. And no matter where you were, what you were doing, it was a year to adapt and learn. And I think we did that really well. And that's why we were able to come out on top. Okay. A couple more things. Okay. Are we going to get another championship stick? Look, ours is, oh, we got our, yeah. it's right over there. Yeah, right you over are. There. Yeah. We need it's another a, stick. It's out of date now. On it. Yeah. Yeah, we need You're a new right. stick. That's old. That's yeah. old. Yeah, we need an up to date yeah, stick. Yeah, exactly. All right, that's number one. Number two, <laughs> when you're at the bottom of the dog pile. Oh goodness. Did how did you avoid injury? We were <laughs> again in my house. My wife was like, "They're gonna hurt the. They're gonna hurt her at the bottom." That's how do you avoid says. injury? Everyone says. Everyone's yeah. like, "Don't do that." As much right. as you want a dog pile, do not do it. And I literally, I just remember it was I was on the bottom of the bottom, and then <laughs> Rene Ricardo was on top of me. <laughs> And we were facing each other, and I just remember us both yelling, get off 
Everybody get off! And it was Look, like... Look, it was nice that we won, guys, exactly, but I need to breathe. Exactly, exactly. And then we all came out. It was like, oh, thank goodness. And I see Hannah and Ava, and they're like holding their heads. They're like, ow, ow. And I'm like, no, this is time to celebrate. Let's go. Oh, but it was so funny because that's everyone was like, oh, that's when people get hurt. Yeah. That's when you don't do that. And I'm sitting on the bottom claustrophobic, and I'm like, please get off me. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> We ask people this sometimes when they do something cool, because usually we don't. Yeah, we need we need all the input we yeah. get. When when you do something like this, how many times have you watched it in the twenty or so hours since then? Oh, so the honestly, the hug with my dad, I've watched that the most. I've also Dakota Moyer, he's moving, which we're so sad. Dakota, if you're listening to this, we're so mad at you for moving. But he takes amazing pictures, and he got like the whole game winning score sequence of Mayor holding me and everything on pictures and he like put it into this instagram reel and it was awesome watched that so many times um but yeah i mean you know twitter's popping instagram's popping we love it all the girls love it we are all about the pictures <laughs> any college girl is so um it's been it's been really fun and i think we'll keep looking at them for the next couple of days assuming uh, that you slept some last night when <laughs> when you woke up this morning how long did it take you before you remembered oh man i did something really cool yesterday <laughs> No, it, was, it, it took me probably seconds until we all rushed into one of my roommates' room and, you know, debrief the night, have some laughs, look at the <laughs> pictures, the videos, everything. Um, but, yeah, our team group chat was going crazy. Like, I can't believe we're national championships, cha champions again. And not only this time for the freshmen, obviously, they have so many fun years ahead of them, but it's their third time, and it's just something where you look at and you're just like, damn, that is cool. So we're just we're we're so happy. I know everyone will definitely be celebrating a lot more today. <laughs> Big time flex, by the way, wearing the 2020 I know, National you know Championship it. Yeah. T-shirt today. I had to Big throw time. it in the wash this morning, but we're good. We're Big back. time flex. <laughs> All right, let's get to what everybody wants to know about Aaron. When are you and I setting up our challenge? I know, I know. COVID got in the way, man. I know. <laughs> I'm ready. So if you if you haven't been with Aaron's relationship with the podcast for a long time. We set this up where I'm going to put on the pads. Yep. Now, I, I don't know what the original agreement was. I don't think it could be a penalty shot. That's way too close. Oh, really? <laughs> that, that's oh, way, what okay. about from the other I goal? That seems fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's really close in the penalty shot. But if, I, if that's what it has to be, that's what it has to be. <laughs> but we're going to get this set up. We're going to air out the goalie equipment. I hear that's yeah, important. Yeah, it's yeah. a little stinky. Yeah, we got to air it shed. out. And then we're gonna, you're gonna be, are you going to be around? Oh, Are yeah. you going home? What's the deal? I'll go home in a couple days. We'll set it up. If not, you know, the fall will be here. Yes. Obviously. We've got to do this. I've yes. seen more field hockey than I had when y'all first had this discussion. Yeah. And I think I may have said you might stop one or two. No. Zero. <laughs> yeah. If she tries, I'll give you, you got no now. Maybe chance. one. Maybe not. I'm, I'm gonna, kidding. <laughs> I'm going to do like that Michigan goalie did. No offense to the Michigan goalie. On the penalty shot where she just kind of fell down. It was just like <laughs> kicking at it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> because it was like a change up, I think, by accident on the on the shot. Yes. So, so I'm gonna oh, be we like had a good laugh about that. Yes, what happened? So was funny. it not? It just wasn't struck well? No. Yes, yeah, she just missed hit it. And we, we practiced. My dad's like, make sure you're doing your strokes. I'm like, dad. We do it all the time after practice. Coach is like, strokers, let's go. There's four of us that line up. We practice. We get at least two after, honestly, probably four out of five practices. And, you know, Bryn's awesome with how she fakes them out and everything in her body movement. But it was just an off one. And you know what? <laughs> On the score sheet, all it says is a yeah. goal. So it yeah. doesn't matter. It was a goal and what Sometimes ended up being a one-goal win. That's right. That's all that matters. Well, Aaron, it's always awesome to see you. Thanks so much uh, for coming and joining us. Congratulations Thank again on all your Thank success, you. on the team success, on the individual success. And I'm serious. Like, I saw so many people talking about Carolina field hockey last mm -hmm. night. That's I awesome. It. I mean, I to know. have it on ESPNU on a Sunday night at 7 o'clock and you guys yep. to be successful, awesome. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. I'm so glad you're watching some field hockey. <laughs>